Hey guys, welcome to Skilling. Have you ever felt that your social media apps have been keeping an eye on you while all you were doing was maybe browsing through Amazon just to buy a pair of jeans? Suddenly your social media is filled with such advertisements almost like you're walking in a flea market where the sellers have accessed your requirements and are now selling you just the right thing. This is not just a mere coincidence. These random yet accurate advertisements have been made possible by cookies. No, not these type of cookies. I'm talking about another type. Let's say you send a request for a website. The website naturally asks for you to sign in with your credentials, one that is very unique to you. These credentials are then stored by the website in a file on your computer. Next, every time that you log into that particular website, the changes that you made earlier are now loaded back in and is made available to you just as it is. These include things like the layout and the language you have chosen for your preference. Other than that, these websites also store other details that you might have added to the website, things like your address, your credit card details, etc. It also keeps a track of the websites you've clicked on and the time that you have spent on each website. When cookies were initially designed by Lou Montulli, they were meant to store information between the user and the website that they were connected to. This information is used highly to increase browser experience and recommend user items based on their activity. However, with time, third-party cookies came into play. Third-party cookies are advertising firm cookies that you might have accidentally accepted while browsing through the internet. After this, they keep a track not on a single website, but almost all the activities that you perform using your PC. They then sell this information to other parties, which then shows you relevant ads depending on the website that you have visited. This is why sometimes the news you read on the internet or Facebook or Instagram have tons of advertising relating to a website that you have visited. This breach of personal information has been discouraged by a lot of users. This is why, by guidelines, you will sometimes see this dialog box on your screen. So next time that you go ahead and click on the accept button, give it a thought. But were cookies always this bad? Well, no, they were not. Let's look into its history to know why. Cookies were developed for Netscape, which was an older web browser. This initiative was started because saving information of the user in their data centers created a huge load on it. To avoid such load on the data centers, cookies were created that stored information of the users on their PCs. Besides, this was also done for the user to be able to add items in the cart without it getting lost every time that the page was reloaded. All in all, it's how the cookies are used that makes all the difference. If you are interested in making websites and understanding more on such technicalities, then do give our website a visit to avail a course on front-end development. The link is in the description below. Until next time, bye!